A lot has happened in the last couple of months involving all kinds of certain things, but I want to take it back to a drama that happened a couple of months ago. And this drama involved Dr. Disrespect. Now, Dr. Disrespect was under a lot of heat and controversy for his involvement with texting a minor. Now, I made a couple of videos on this, so I'm not really going to go too deep into it. So go check those out. Link will be in the description below. But I have news for you all today. Dr. Disrespect Enjoyers, he's back. Yes, he is. I mean, I mentioned this in my videos before, but I didn't really think that Dr. Disrespect was really going to go anywhere. I mean, all of us kind of assumed he's got a very loyal fan base. Um, so, I mean, to say that Dr. Disrespect was destroyed was kind of just like not really ever going to be the case. And I mean, it seems like right now he is going to just keep on pushing. Um, well, he was live um, today and he denied a lot of the allegations put up against him. I have yet to watch any of the clips or the live stream itself. So I'm very curious to see what happens with that. So I will be reacting to that with you guys here on this video. I am very curious to see what kind of proof he provides, what kind of evidence he you know, provides to prove his innocence. Now, from what I have seen, it hasn't been anything too convincing. In fact, I think a lot of it is hoggle wash, if you ask me. But anyway, I will not waste any more of your guys' time. This, like I said, this is new to me. So I am watching basically with you guys. You're getting my live raw reaction, except it's not really live. It's, it's in a video. So about 23 minutes in, Dr. Disrespect starts talking about his monetization on YouTube. And apparently he can reapply for partnership on September 25th. That is the date that he has confirmed that he can reapply for YouTube partnership. So basically getting all of his monetization back, maybe his members, but who knows. Now, depending on how this goes, I am obviously one to form my own opinion on this kind of stuff. So if I feel like Dr. Disrespect does not deserve monetization, um, I mean, that's just how I will feel. If you guys are more than welcome to have a differing opinion than I do, maybe, who knows, Dr. Disrespect completely convinces me. I am going into this with an open mind. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Dr. Disrespect needs to be canceled right away, but we shall see. So glad you're back. Hey, I appreciate it, son. Shane. It's good to be back to a certain degree, right? We got to figure out this monetization thing. So it's September 25th is is basically when we can reapply for partnership on YouTube, you know? For almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Ah, huh, champs? You see, there was a lawsuit pending and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> but apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved, leaks Twitch's reported reason. Years later, Cody, why, why, you, why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. Well, I mean, for what? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You see, you don't know shit. And it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers 
but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. So yet again, Dr. Disrespect has decided to show us absolutely zero proof. I think this would have been a perfect opportunity to show us the Titch Whispers with this said minor. I mean, if you're out going to defend yourself, I mean, back it up. I think for sure that, you know, the burden of, of proof is on the accuser for sure. I think honestly, it's ridiculous that these screenshots haven't been posted even still to this day. And I find it funny that Dr. Disrespect is talking so passionate about like the legal process and like how he got things done professionally. But Dr. Disrespect, need I remind you that that is something that people have harped on you for throughout this entire thing, right? Like just because you're proven innocent in court doesn't mean a thing. You still interacted inappropriately with a minor, right? Now he's going to go ahead and talk about something so like, it's like the biggest plot twist of all time, except yet again, we have literally zero proof of it from Dr. Disrespect. He is, he is yet to show us anything. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. Oh, okay. I mean, Dr. Disrespect said it himself. D he wasn't sexting that minor. We're good. Well, I guess that's it for today's video. I I'll see you guys in the next one. No, but in all seriousness, what's the point in saying any of that, right? Just show the proof if that's the case. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. Well, guys, I just found out that Dr. Disrespect is a D1 idiot. Actually stupid. I can't believe that he actually pulled the, I put the word minor in there on purpose card on us, guys. We're fucked. He did it on purpose. No shot. And then he has the gall to say something along the lines of, did you even begin to consider that the person I was talking to in Twitch Whispers was over the age of consent? I bet you didn't even think about that, did you? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You're the one who put the word minor in there on purpose, I guess. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Of course they're gonna write about it if you yourself said that you were talking to a minor through Twitch Whispers, you f***ing idiot. Duh! People are gonna talk about big news, especially if you know, the person who has the allegations against them literally confirms the allegations in their initial tweet. Like, it's just it's just actually so stupid and brain dead. There's no way. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now. Don't you think champs? They act like they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. They report on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. This was, this was heart wrenching guys. I was, I'm, I'm maybe Dr. Disrespect is, was in the right all along. Maybe all of those darn Twitch employees lied about him, but I mean, I'd at least like to see some proof maybe to, to, to show that they are lying about it. It seems that he's like super desperate, right? Like he, I think he's very aware of what his audience is. And I mean, I, I, I think Dr. Disrespect could literally say anything to his audience here uh, and they'd believe him, right? Like they, I mean, literally most of them backed him up throughout the entire drama. So I, I have no doubt in my mind that Dr. Disrespect saying literally all of this with no proof otherwise. Like, I'm sure he has people out there backing him up. I don't believe a single word of it, frankly. I don't. I'm listening to it. I'm trying my best to keep an open mind, but I, I genuinely don't believe a single word of it. Now, Dr. Disrespect pulled a crazy move, chat. We're playing checkers while he's playing chess. At least that's what he likes 
for us to think. Because he says that he put the word minor in that tweet on purpose. Well, fucking color me purple and slap me on my ass because I genuinely thought that he was actually sexting a minor, guys. I mean, I'm that's all I needed to fucking hear. Dr. Disrespect did that shit on purpose. I've, I'm fucking cooked. No, but in all seriousness, why the fuck would anyone do that? If you have hard allegations put up against you that you have been sexting a minor, why the fuck would you put the word minor in the tweet on purpose? All you're doing is just stirring your own pot. That makes no sense. That doesn't put you in any good position, especially if you're going to come back two months later and provide zero proof of the fact otherwise it doesn't make any sense dr disrespect and the statement gets even funnier because i mean if you're on twitter while all of this drama was happening you saw that dr disrespect even edited the tweet to take the word minor out of it so dr disrespect what is it were you trying to convince people that you were actually sexing a minor or weren't you i don't understand what was the point of putting the word minor in there on purpose and then taking it out for no reason. And by the way, I just want to let you guys know that since all of this has happened, Dr. Disrespect has actually deleted his original response to all of the drama. Like it's gone. It's not on his Twitter anymore. But I mean, literally we have other articles that show that he has made this response before, so it doesn't even really matter. But I just I just have to understand Dr. Disrespect's mindset here because if he was trying to convince people or trying to get all these news articles to write about him and these other people from Twitch to kind of talk about him through putting the word minor in his response on purpose and editing it and then eventually deleting it. I mean, what the fuck was the point? I genuinely don't understand because now, I mean, to literally the entire internet, you look like a fucking pedophile. You look like you've been sexing a minor. I so I, I, I don't understand what the point of it was. Maybe, maybe I am just so monkey brain that I can't understand the the 5d chess plays that dr disrespect is pulling out of his asshole here but i mean i don't know maybe i'm just crazy let me know chat if these former trust and safety team members and by the way i know exactly who they are <laughs> actually had first-hand knowledge then what they conveniently left out is one twitch's trust and safety team the same employees that decided to ban me internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. Okay, so can we get some proof of that? And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Okay, so can we get some proof of that? I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. So let me get this straight. Not only did you put the word minor in there, but you also put inappropriate messaging with a minor in your tweet response on purpose? Why? Well, I mean, even if you didn't do that, I mean, people were probably going to talk about it anyway, right? Like this was massive drama, massive news to a lot of people, right? Even if you didn't do that, I mean, you just like, <laughs> you just made yourself look like the bad guy even more. All you had to do instead of doing all this stupid shit, like, hey, dude, by the way, I was inappropriately messaging a minor. Except, you know, two months later down the road, I mean, it'll be fine. I'll just, I'll just say that I did that on purpose. I did that shit on purpose. But I mean, I, 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 hey, guys, I did that so that way everyone could fucking write about how shit of a person I am <laughs> instead of being on, like, talking about it on Twitter. Like, hey guys, hey, listen, that shit did not happen. I did not fucking message a minor inappropriately. I didn't sex them. None of that shit happened. All right. I, I didn't do any of that. And instead you're like, you know what? I have the greatest idea on earth. I'm going to act like I'm a pedophile. So that way everyone can talk about how much of a pedophile I am. And then I'll just be like, gotcha. F***ers. Two months later without showing any proof yet again. I mean, he also mentions that like he knows the names of all the people on the Twitch staff that kind of exposed him and uh, how they talked internally about all this stuff. 
Well, Dr. Disrespect, I mean, there's the, let's talk, let's address the elephant in the room here. Your own fucking company did research in on this and they banned, they, they, they got rid of you. Can you explain that maybe? Let's say, uh, he probably talks about it later on in this video. Like I said, I'm just reacting to it as I go. But I mean, from like, from what I'm seeing, Dr. Disrespect did that shit, bruh. Like I, 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 I'm just going off of what I'm seeing. I see zero proof uh, of it otherwise. You know, maybe, maybe eventually we see some screenshots. Hopefully that stuff comes out. <laughs> maybe this response kind of, uh, kind of forces the Twitch employees to come out with their own screenshots. I mean, the NDA is already broken, right? I mean, there's nothing more to hide. I don't know why Dr. Disrespect is still hiding these messages unless. And I also find it funny. This was a little bit earlier on in the video, but he also talks about how, Hey guys, before you tweeted that shit out, did you even begin to consider that, you know, maybe the person wasn't actually underaged? All right, Dr. Disrespect, I mean, sure, but why would you entertain the idea of it in the first place? Like, if you had just said, hey, guys, I'm not doing this. I never did this. Nothing ever happened. Like, I didn't it, it, I didn't message a minor inappropriately, especially if you weren't going to provide any proof of it two months later, like, after the fact. Why wouldn't you just not entertain it, right? Like, the articles would have been on talking about how Twitch employees talked about how you messaged a minor uh, inappropriately. Things would have been done if you had just talked about it like properly. If you hadn't have done all this shit that you say you did on purpose, like it just—it's it, just like the stupidest misplay of all time, like the the dumbest misinput anybody has ever made on the internet ever. Dodger disrespect. If if not a if not if not a weirdo online, uh, probably the biggest idiot in the world. Now I went ahead and watched the rest of this on my own, and it really doesn't go into any more detail other than like some bits and pieces of what the court case kind of looked like. But yet again, we have zero evidence to prove that Dr. Disrespect is an innocent man. And honestly, other than him literally just saying that he was inappropriately messaging a minor, like on his initial tweet, other than that, we really don't have like screenshots or anything like that to show that that actually happened either. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird case. I just wish that the screenshots were out. But, I mean, I'm just kind of going to go with what Dr. Disrespect said at first, that he was inappropriately messaging a minor. I'm not going to fall for that stupid bullshit like he meant to do that stuff on. He did that stuff on purpose. I'm not falling for that stupid shit. And, I, I mean, I've got to have a point here because even still, his closest friends in the community, some of his closest friends still are dogpiling on him. Freaking Nick Merckx said something about it earlier. And Dr. Lupo, too, went crazy on him. He messaged a 17-year-old when he was in his late 30s with a child and married, trying to solicit them for sex. And every single time he talks about it, it's going to be sugar-coated. It's going to be dumbed down. Because at what point do you expect someone to say, yeah, I wanted to fuck a teenager? Like, it just, it, it, it's stupid. I think Dr. Disrespect made a shitty response here. I don't think that, uh, he, he had the perfect opportunity to disprove all of these claims and he did it it's it's just it's actually so ridiculous but with that said that's going to conclude today's video let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i i'm just gonna go ahead and believe that dr disrespect did that i don't know man i i don't know i i like i said i'm not one to cancel somebody but whenever like shit like this happens when you put kids in harm's way and stuff like that like it's it's bad it's bad so with that said uh hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one